Welcome to another episode of Data Science and AI Weekly. I'm your host for this podcast. My name is Manav and what I'm going to be covering today is who is a data scientist and essentially uh, what are the skill set that you need to become a data scientist? What do data scientists do? And are there any qualifications? Are there any certifications or is there any experience? criteria that companies use to select the right data scientists. We will answer all of these questions. And just to recap what we did in episode one, what we covered is we covered the journey of data science science and why data science has become such a hype. And we also looked at what does a data science scientist exactly do. But what we want to do in this episode is that whether you can become a data scientist. Uh, and let's start that by first of all, looking at what qualifications are required to become a data scientist. Now, what you'd be surprised by is that there is no specific qualification you require to become a data scientist. You don't need to do an MS in data science. You don't need to do any particular program. Anyone from any background can become a data scientist if you master three specific skills. These skills are A, computer science, B, statistics, C domain expertise. If you have mastered these three skills, right? Anyone, even if you have been aerospace engineer can become a data scientist. Let me give you an example. Uh, this year itself, uh, we had in 2019, we had the world number one data science influencer, Dr. Kirkborn at INSET. Dr. Kirkborn, as some of you would know, he is a principal data scientist at one of the top consulting firms called Booz Allen Hamilton. And what you'd be surprised by is that he's in his he's in his 50s or 60s and he was earlier working with NASA. He had nothing to do with data science and he is he advises top companies on their data science practices. So as long as your fundamentals are strong and as long as you are doing these three areas, focusing on these three areas, that is becoming good in a little bit of programming, a little bit of statistics and maths, and understanding of how this is supposed to be used in a particular industry, you can become a data scientist. Now, the question is that what specific skills and experience organizations are looking for uh, in potential data science recruits? Now, that's a important question, right? The answer is that any company, when they're looking for recruiting data scientists, they first of all look at what role, particular role it is. For example, there is roles like data scientist, junior data scientist, senior data scientist, principal data scientist, chief data scientist. So th this is the entire hierarchy of roles. Now, for example, if an organization is hiring for a senior data scientist, then an organization expects that you should have worked as a data scientist and should have in a for a couple of years and then you would be considered for a senior data scientist role. But let's say that an organization is wanting to have entry level uh, data scientists, which are also called in some cases junior data scientists, which to a large extent also do the work of a data analyst. So you are expected to just have the skills of a data analyst, right? So you don't necessarily need to have a couple of years of experience. If you have experience as a data line analyst, it's well and good. But even if you don't have and your fundamentals are good and you have done a rigorous data science program, that should be a good enough starting point. Right. So essentially, just to summarize from the experience perspective, what organizations are looking at is whether for that particular data science role. And as I said, there are different data science roles, right? Uh, contrary to what a lot of newbies starting in this field feel that everybody becomes a data scientist. No organizations are recruiting for all kinds of uh, positions in data science. You need to see which is the right position for you, right? It could be a junior data scientist or a data scientist uh, to if you are coming from a non-data science field. And if you are coming from a data science field, if you have already been working in data scientist, so as a data scientist, then you could look for a senior data science uh, role also or a head of data science role as well. Now, what is also important is you also need to look at the industry that is hiring is hiring you 
for a data science role. For example, let's say that you're interviewing uh, uh, for a data science role at Novartis or a healthcare company. Then if you have a background in healthcare, then that certainly helps you a lot as compared to you going in Novartis and you having an experience in an industry which is not re not very relevant to healthcare, right? So, so a lot of companies want sector specific or industry specific experience so that you can get started immediately. Let's say that you are recruiting for a data science role in let's say uh, Vodafone or um, or telecom company. So if you have some background in telecom, that certainly helps quite a bit, right? Again, the, this is this is not a generalization. There might be industries which are not looking for experience in their particular industry which are happy with are happy with generic data scientists but if you have that particular industry's experience that certainly helps right so that is that was a snapshot of the kind of qualification that you require the kind of experience that you require and the kind of additional skill set that if you have that certainly will help you get data science roles and will help you become a data scientist right so this was episode two of data science and ai weekly uh, what we covered in today's episode is who can become a data scientist if you like this episode just let us know in the comment section if you have any follow-up questions from this episode or if you have a profile specific questions that you would want us to evaluate just leave a comment in the comment section with your detailed profile and we'll be happy to evaluate your profile if it if you have all that it takes to become a data scientist right so i'm signing off from episode two of data science and ai weekly my name is and i look forward to seeing you in episode three of data science and